Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Thursday, December 17th, and we'd like to begin this day by offering a greeting to our beloved two parents. Uh, please join me. Chonjin Champomonimke, Kyombe, Paro. Okay, now I'd like to invite up Milhan to lead us in the family pledge. Uh, for those who are watching, uh, you can just keep yourself, uh, yeah, read along together. Everyone else live, please stay muted. Kajang Mengse, Il, Nagup Juin, Uri Kajang and Cham Sarang Jungshim Hago, Honyang Tangal Chaja, Honyane Changjo Islamin. Changgonhakasul 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 3. 전여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 4대 심정권과 3대 왕권과 황족권을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 4. 전여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님의 창조 이상인 전주대 가족을 형성하여 자유와 평화와 통역과 행복의 세계를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 오, 천여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 매일 주체적 전상 세계와 대상적 지상 세계의 통일을 향해 전진적 발전을 촉진화할 것을 맹세하나이다. 육, 천여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님과 참 부모님의 대신 가정으로서 천연을 움직이는 가정이 되어 하늘의 축복을 주변에 연결시키는 가정을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 7. 천여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 본연의 혈통과 연결된 위하는 생활을 통하여 심정 문화 세계를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 8. 천여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 천여극 시대를 맞이하여 절대 신앙, 절대 사랑, 절대 복종으로 신인의 일체의 상을 이루어 지상 천국과 천상 천국의 해방관과 석방관을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. Okay, thank you, uh, Milhan, for leading us in. The pledge. Um, this morning, I would like to invite, let's see, let us invite Takami-san, Kazuo Takami. Could you offer opening prayer for us? Yes, sure. <laughs> Please join me a prayer. Dear most beloved heavenly parents and true parents, Good morning and thank you. Thank you so much for giving us this brand new day, Heavenly Parent. Thank you. Every 24 hours, we can reset ourselves spiritually and externally and uh, once again connect to you, Heavenly Parent. And this is so beautiful, this world and your creation, your motivation to create this beautiful world and so that all of your child, children can enjoy this beautiful relationship with you and with people. However, because of the fall, this world become so much misery and so much tragedy and here and there and become a hell and you have been going through such a such an un, incredible difficulty you have to go through heavenly parents we are so grateful that 
um, because of because of true parents, because of Jesus, because of saints and sages, there was untold、uh, course in、uh, in this world of restoration, heavenly parent. Thank you so much. We are here in year two thousand twenty twenty, and we are almost concluding this this year. And the heavenly parents, we were so grateful.、Um, this <clears throat> just I wanna say thank you, heavenly parents, and、uh, we are here, brothers and sisters, and、uh, we are here with. Heavenly parents and true parents, no matter what kind of things comes, we can unite, we can overcome, and we can restore this world to the beautiful world you are initially intended. Thank you so much for this brand new day, and、uh, together with brothers and sisters, and centering on our true mother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I offer this prayer in the name of Kazu Takami. Breast Central Family, Aju. Aju, thank you so much,、uh, Takami-san, for your prayer. And now、uh, we like to go into our breakout、uh, for six minutes、uh, to share our appreciations. Those who are watching,、uh, please take this time to reflect. And if you're with anybody,、uh, you can share your appreciations for today.
Welcome back, everybody. So today, uh, I'd like to invite up uh, Digit Platt. He, she is the wife of Roland, director of GPA. Uh, she, she was part of my breakout team. So please unmute yourself and share your appreciation. <laughs> Oh, uh, good morning, everyone. The, good morning, Dr. Young. Yes, I was so blessed uh, to be in the same team with uh, our president, Naokimi. And uh, yes, um, oh, wow. I had uh, many things that suddenly everything disappeared <laughs> from my head. Uh, anyway, I'm so grateful to be alive in this time uh, when uh, we have a, still we have our true mother and then, um, and uh, uh, especially with Dr. Young. Before Dr. Young coming to here to America, I was thinking, how I, I was talking to my husband, how I, I really miss and longing to have a, this kind of really uh, like a very sincere prayer time and uh, longing heart for true, true, true parents and uh, true father. I was talking to, to my husband. And then when I uh, hear this morning devotions, I was so... I was reminded that and I was so amazed at how God works uh, and it, uh, through knowing the devotion, it really helps us to improve, to deepen our journey song. And uh, I'm so grateful to oh Dr. Young, and, uh, uh, how uh, he is showing to us uh, his Johnson through that, uh, to, to, uh, through this uh, morning devotion, I really feel this is a, uh, I'd say it's kind of really bringing us all together and really uh, renewing our heart. And um, uh, I really feel this is example how we can really uh, have a, a, this kind of journey and uh, we can move other people's heart. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, other thing is, uh, uh, I'm so grateful that my daughter, my oldest daughter in GPA, he, she is uh, having challenging time, and uh, every Sunday they have a call to their parents and uh, I had to I have a talk with my daughter and she sometimes she says uh, um, it's so challenging but so challenging why is it very difficult sometimes uh, a lot of uh, persecutions and uh, um, but still, we, I'm so grateful that she is going through this uh, uh, challenging time that, that she can meet God. She can have a real experience uh, with God. And uh, we talk and we cry together on the phone. Yes. And it's um, good. Thank and you. I'm Did so you? grateful to my husband. Uh -huh. He is now um, leading a fundraising team in Utah and then uh, when I was a child I would I remember when I was teenager somehow my my parents uh, had uh, sometimes you not know, easy uh, relationship but I really longed for uh, some kind of really good uh, uh, deep relationship with you. Ah? PG, thank you. Yes. Thank you so much for your okay. reflection. And, uh, okay. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. And then, all for, right. Thank you. Yeah. And all well, have a good day. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, the snow is really strong now in New York and New Jersey. So some of the 
connections are not as good right now in these areas. Um, but thank you, Digit, for sharing. One of the things that she mentioned was that she was grateful to parents, you know, who they had to discover these truths by, by themselves uh, with nobody to really guide them like they have been. So really grateful that they were able to go through that kind of self-discovery uh, to be able to share these truths with us. Um, yeah, let's ask one more. Uh, Hiro Sagisaka from Chicago. He was my other partner today. Uh, can you share briefly just a few um, appreciations from you? Hey, yeah, I appreciate this like a morning devotion. And uh, uh, every day that we heard about, we learned about the, uh, the God's heart uh, again and again and again. Uh, we need to understand not by brain, by heart. So I really would appreciate it. And uh, uh, with this uh, understanding God's heart, uh, we can um, uh, we can shed the tears. And uh, uh, I I understand that uh, uh, our foundation, church foundation, was built by tears. And uh, uh, through that the tears and Johnson, that uh, our church, early church, was filled with the Holy Spirit. And uh, Tirumada mentioned that uh, we would like to go back to the origin uh, spirit of the early churches. Uh, Holy Spirit are working that time. So we would like to revive. But uh, uh, now that we are going to that way, so that uh, now they're connecting the old dot, uh, the God's heart and the tears, Johnson, and uh, go back to the early spirit of early church filled with Holy Spirit. So I really appreciate that. I, I feel that uh, uh, we can do that. Yeah. And Dr. Young is like a blowing trumpet every day, the, uh, follow me, and uh, uh, Holy Spirit is here, Kingdom Heaven is here, intimacy is over, so that uh, like uh, we unite with him and uh, I feel that the wall of Jericho will collapse. So I really appreciate Dr. Young. So thank Hi you very much. You. Thank you, Pastor Hero. Um, yeah, so yeah, it is definitely going back to the original spirit of the church um, with a tearful and junk song and shiku heart. Uh, this is kind of what Mother has guided us to do. So with that said, I'd like to bring it to uh, and invite up Dr. Yong to lead us in the morning devotion for today. Okay. 안녕하세요. Arun Susdai. Arun Susdai. Good morning and good afternoon, good evening. My beloved uh, brothers and sisters, this morning is uh, really so fresh here. When I look at outside, it's really snowing. I came to uh, America. Uh, first time I see this beautiful snowing and then I, my heart was very much fresh. And also I have a longing heart to see my dear brothers and sisters. And then, uh, you know, many people talking about the heart and then also Chong Song. And uh, since I came to America, I really determined to do a morning heart devotion condition with my dear brothers and sisters. Not just only first day, not just only second, 40 day, I really, even one person remain, I still want to carry on morning devotion condition. This, uh, you know, seven years uh, Chanilgu course never ever come again with the mother. This is a really golden time period for you and for me, for God, for true mother. In terms of uh, true mother's age, also this is the uh, last golden time period. That's why for me, even though my age is 63 years old, and then plus six or seven years, you know, going to be nearly 70 years old. For me, in my life, the most important time period, golden time period. That's why. What should I do first? I need to do my chong song. One of the, my secret in my life of faith today, I'm going to tell you. 
what's the my one of the top secret in my life of faith? Doing morning jong song all the time. As long as I am doing morning devotion all the time, I always feel that God protect me. Spiritual world protect me. Jong song is like always I mentioned that Jong song is like a prepaid condition, prepaid condition, prepaid indemnity. So once you devoted Jong song from early morning, whole day, your whole day will be protected. I'm telling you, guarantee. That's why once you offer morning Jong song, you should be bold. You should be strong. I already prepaid, I already prepaid the indemnity, prepaid the condition. So today, God is with me. Wherever I go, God leading me. Wherever I go, I as a son of God, as a daughter of God, I have a confidence. I can convince people. I convey blessing to everywhere. I today already I the pay the prepay the condition. That's why Chong Song always giving you a power. Chong Song is a Chong Song, and then you know prayer is like a ins insurance. When you have insurance, uh, you know life insurance. Uh, you know you have more of secure, right? Secure feeling. Prayer and Chong Song is like a insurance. When you do daily Chong Song. Daily morning heart devotion is like a daily insurance by God. Heavenly insurance. Prayer is like a heavenly insurance. So when you do morning devotion, you already have the, but the heavenly insurance. Therefore, you will be protected by God and true parents and spiritual world. If you do seven years, morning devotion with the true mother, with our national president, all our blessed family in America and in Canada, our North America. What do you think? I think seven years is a guarantee. We got already insurance of the seven years. I am telling you guarantee. I think our fortune of the North America never ever will go down. That is a heavenly insurance, heavenly guarantee. This is the power of Chung Song. I am telling you, this is my 46 years experience in our movement. That's why nobody win Chung Song. Nobody win Chung Song. Just now, uh, one lady, uh, one, uh, one person about the state leader mentioned that. When we do Jong Song, we, we can go back to uh, the founding spirit, founding, foundation, founding spirit, is a, which is like a Holy Spirit. When Tura Father initiated our movement, he initiated by Holy Spirit and divine principle truth. So how can we invite that the Holy Spirit and then truth? It begins from Jong Song. Not just only me, not just only Mr. So, not just only our, our uh, the Naokimi president. National level, continental level, uh, Canada, and then here United States, America, Everybody unite together, first generation, second generation, old generation, younger generation. It doesn't matter. Everybody unite together. Doing morning jong song. I am telling you, that is like a kind of the heavenly insurance. Heavenly insurance. Can you imagine? I am telling you guarantee, 100%, 120% guarantee. If we do this kind of level of Chongsong, national level of Chongsong, 40 days, 3 months, 
one year, two year, until seven year. I, I do not know what will be happen to America. Everything go on very smoothly. Always develop. Always growing. Always multiply. This is the power of Zhang Song. Zhang Song means prepaid indemnity, prepaid condition, guarantee, like a heavenly insurance. If you do morning Zhang Song until you die your entire life, this is kind of life insurance guarantee. Life insurance, how to revive America. It begins from morning devotion. I am telling you, finally, Heavenly Father will protect you, the protect relationship between husband and wife, protect your children, even children come back. I am telling you, if you keep on the Chang song, you can solve individual problem will be solved. And husband and wife problem will be solved. And then brothers and sisters problem will be solved. And Cain's and Abel's problem will be solved. Your family problem will be solved. Your tribal problem will be solved. Your national problem will be solved. Even any conflict, any trial will be solved. This is the power of Jung Song. Father initiated his ministry from Jung Song. He wake up to 30, 30 o'clock. What, what, what does he do first? What does he do first? Put Jung Song. That's why father, he, father's, his internal slogan, he loved this slogan. Do you know father's internal slogan is what? On most sincerity, moves heaven, not money, not power, not any other things, almost sincerity, almost the prayer, almost the jungsung moves heaven. There is a limitation, human being power, there is a limitation, I am telling you, limitation. You cannot do that. I always feel difficulty. Looks, so look, look, looks like somebody disturbing me and the stop on the way. <laughs> but I realized that what's the secret of our life of faith? That is a Jung Song. Jung Song make you success. Jung Song make you reality of your dream. <sighs> Many people does not know this top secret. Today, I told you that this is a top secret. Please do not talk to anyone, okay? Please do not talk to anyone. This is a top secret. Today, I tell you, heavenly, heavenly parents, top secret. Keep secret. Do not talk to anyone. Top secret. If you, if you, if you, you keep this top secret and then you do all the time Chang Song, I am telling you, your daily life is a guarantee. Your entire life is a guarantee. Your ministry is a guarantee. Your nation is a guarantee. Wow, heavenly insurance. Huh? more than car insurance, more than your life insurance. That's the power of Jung Song. Uh, today, uh, I am going to talk about here, Father's word. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Today, I am tell, telling you very, very important content. I think those who are attend today, I think you have a lot of heavenly fortune. Today, I share <coughs> very important thing. <coughs> uh, I, I'd like to ask the, our heavenly, what is that? Honey, to read this content, please. Okay. <laughs> the difference between love and heart. 
In the beginning, God created the vast universe and placed Adam and Eve at its center. When God created Adam and Eve, he made them with all the elements of his creation. And then he bestowed even more upon them. The most important gift that he gave them was heart. Through the unification of hearts, God's ideal of creation can be completed, which is the four position foundation. Love is the center of the four position foundation and its core is heart. Heart is the core and most important base for all beings. Thank you, Heavenly Honey. Wow, this one I am telling you is one of the top secret of God's principle. And then when I read the Father's word, I discover a very important thing. He gave us a question. Father said, do you know what is the center of the Bible? Can you think about it? Do you know what is the center of the Bible? Please think about it. Do you know what is the center of the Bible? Think about it. Very important. Even though we study Bible every day, you know, many Christian leaders and brothers and sisters study Bible. Then you need to know that what is the main point, what is the center of the Bible? Center of the Bible is Jesus. Am I correct? Jesus, the Messiah. Then, Father asked again, then what is the center of the Jesus? What is the center of the Jesus? Center of Jesus is what? Love. But you cannot produce love by your own self. Need to have a spouse. That's why Jesus said, I am the bridegroom, you are the bride. Jesus need to have pride. So, center of the Bible is Jesus. The, uh, center, the, the, what, center of the Jesus is love. Love comes from where? The relationship between bridegroom and bride. Then, who is the original bride and bride, bridegroom? It began from Adam and Eve. Supposed to start from Adam and Eve. That's why I need to go back to Old Testament era. Adam and Eve lost center, center of the universe. What's the center of the universe? That is a love. <laughs> There's a love. So Jesus, he know that, you know, he need to marry it. Without marry, without pride, how can he realize the love? That's why center of love is what? Pride and bridegroom. And pride and bridegroom, originally Adam and Eve were supposed to be substantial bridegroom and bride. Can you imagine about this point? Then father talking about here. Then what is the center of love? This key point. Center of love is father said, that is heart. That's why heart is the deepest one. Heart is the core of Love. Wow. I am telling you today, core principle. Core principle. Very important point I am telling you. You know? Then, okay. 
in order to produce love and heart. Where? Where? I am telling you a fundamental question. You know, to produce love and heart, it begins from where? Centering on where? Centering on four position foundation. Then what's the center of the four position foundation? That is family. That is a family. Wow, this I am telling you, I the core principle to you today. Very important, this according to unification theory, uh, theology. Very critical point, this one. I think many theologians do not understand this point. You know? Christian people know that was the center of the Bible, that was Jesus. And then was the center of the Jesus, after that, love. And then finish. Finish. But Father discovered that you cannot produce love and joy by yourself. You need to have an object partner. That's why Jesus is continuously looking for, where is my you know, bride? Ask his mother, Maria, where is my object partner? I, I came here not, you know, to produce the wine. You ask me to make the miracle, what? Miracle and make the wine? I am looking for, I came here wedding ceremony. Well, you know, what you are, what ask me to do? Ask me to make wine? Miracle, uh, make the miracle and then make the wine from the water? I am looking for what? Wow. Jesus came to the earth as the Messiah for what? You know, to meet his object partner. Then who is that? Bride. It then says, begotten daughter, position, how much important? Without the begotten daughter, Messiah cannot do anything. Messiah need to meet bride. Without meeting bride, no wedding ceremony. No holy wedding ceremony. Then without holy wedding ceremony, cannot reverse any human being. Wow! That's why you need to know that the value of the true mother. How much important? That's why the actually human being, that's why Tuna Mother said, true part of the wedding ceremony in 1960 more precious than true father's birth, true mother's birth. Holy wedding. Because of the holy wedding, we can receive the blessing from true parents, right? That's why here, Father said, in the beginning, God created Vast universe and place, Adam and Eve, at each, yeah, at each center. When God created Adam and Eve, he made them with all elements of his creation, and then he bestowed even more upon them. Very important part here. The most important gift that he gave them was heart. Heart is the most important part, more than love. Parental heart, conjugal heart, siblings heart, children's heart, all four kinds of heart combined together. This is God's heart. This is God's heart. We, we do not talk about the four realms of love. We do not talk about that. We talk about the four realms of heart. Heart is more internal than more internal than love. That's why Father said, through the unification of the heart, God's idea of creation can be complete, which is the four position foundation. Love is the center of the four position foundation, and each core is a heart. Heart is a core and more 
most important base for all beings. Hmm? That's why we need to understand about that. That's why Father saying, God should be heart stick God. Parents should be heart stick parents. Husband and wife should be heart stick the husband and wife. Brothers and sisters should be heart stick brothers and sisters. Children should be heart stick children. And then your tribe should be heart stick tribe. Society should be heart stick society. Nation should be heart stick nation. The world have to be heart stick. The world, ideal world, should be heart stick ideal world. Why? The heart is a core of the love. Heart, the core of the universe. The heart is a core of the husband and wife. Wow. Oh my God. I really thank God. When I listen to Reverend Johannes someone one day when I was 19 years old, when he talking about that, I never forget, but I could not understand. Later on, I met father and then he uh, listened to his sermon and research his sermon and then find out this content. Wow. This is really, really incredible content. How much lucky you are. True parents teach us. Many theologians, I do not know our, the, our unification, uh, UTS, and all the professors, you know, my major is a theology. How much do you understand about this point? This is the really core content. Core content, what are you talking about? The relationship between father and mother, what is the most important? Heart. Heartistic relationship. What is the most important between husband and wife? Dad is a heart. What is the most important between brothers and sisters? Dad is a heart. That's why heart is a core of the universe. You know, to experience of the heart, it begins from four position foundation. Then why the four position foundation? Centering on family. That's why family is very important. Without father and mother, I cannot experience a heart. Without my spouse, I cannot experience a heart. Without my brothers and sisters, I cannot experience a heart. Without my children, I cannot experience a heart. That's why family is so precious. Can you read one more? Yeah, the, uh, our heavenly honey. What is the difference between heart and love? We usually think of love as a feeling, like floating in the air. And we think of heart as related to the soul. But in fact, heart extends in four directions. Therefore, heart, more than love, is central to everything. Heart manifests as the result of having gone through the process of love. Heart is thus the center of the multi-dimensional world. That is why the unification movement envisions and strives to create a world of heart more than a world of love. Wow, this is really incredible guidance. Therefore, we need to really create the culture of heart. Not producing chapter two culture, not producing adultery culture. You know, so Satan always creating adultery culture. Everywhere, even the word, the language, everything you see, the movie and then television and then any performance, everywhere occupied by sexual culture. Then how can we protect our children? How can create ideal world? Father said, need to create the 
culture of heart then you know conquer the satanic sexual culture we need to know about that how to how to create culture it begins from it begins from your commitment your commitment become very strong and then become habit habit become heavenly habit become heavenly tradition you repeat heavenly tradition continuously become what culture culture that's why our unification church culture very important follow father's culture follow true mother's culture follow unification church culture follow heavenly culture what kind of culture culture of heart really love god really love my brothers and sisters really love my children really love my family heartistic relationship inseparable relationship how can we create that kind of the heartistic culture that should we we should we do that why mother talking about always a culture of a heart and then father said without connecting heart that that is that uh, does not make any any sense he said the philosophy have to be heartistic philosophy science have to be heartistic science language should be heartistic language Mu uh, music have to be heartistic music economy have to be heartistic uh, the economy and then how can we help each other how can we love each other how can we reach each other the politic have to be heartistic politic religion should be heartistic religion media have to be heartistic religion and then heartistic media and then cultivating heart through the media now media promoting chapter to everywhere everywhere this is media is a serious problem that's why our movement we need to creating heartistic culture through the media through the media not individual culture not culture of the self center we need to bring we need to create heartistic culture that's why even the art should be heartistic art the, you know heart of the art wow i really admire my father's guidance what do you think that's why we need to confess he's the messiah he's the messiah amazing how can you deny father is the messiah cannot deny the father is the messiah wow that's why when we do any kind of performance centering our second generation first generation whatever do not follow secular world we need to follow heavenly culture heavenly heart now someone love to play about the shojin nim song you know very much talking about the relationship between parent and child heartistic culture to not follow secular world secular world follow us follow the culture of a heart that is an important point aju okay In heavenly this honey okay yes the family is absolutely necessary for cultivating heart. In this way, the center of everything is heart, and the family is absolutely necessary for cultivating it. We cultivate the four realms of heart in the family, and they must connect and unite centering on God. This connection and unity expands from the levels of the individual and family to the community, nation and world. Thus, restoration cannot be completed without heart because without it, no one can establish the central position. Thank you. Wow. The title is here, the family is absolutely necessary for cultivating heart how to cultivate heart my question 
how to cultivate heart. I, I'm giving you question, how to cultivate heart. Need to understand God's heart. Without knowing God's heart, without knowing God's sorrowful heart, without knowing God's motivation of his heart, how to cultivate heart? That's why fundamental question is what? How to cultivate heart? Need to understand God's heart. Then who showed the God's heart? Our true parents. So through true parents, we can know what is God's heart. And then through true parent tradition, we can cultivate our heart and, and then apply in my family through the parental heart, through the conjugal heart, siblings heart, children's heart, cultivating heart. Cultivating heart, you know, simply we can say, in order to easy, easy to multiply and then bring the creating, cultivating heart, simple. Need to have a culture, giving culture. Always giving and giving and giving and giving and giving. My life of faith, the second secret, I, today I'm telling you all my top secret. You need to give me donation. Do you know what's the, my second top secret of the, my life of faith? Giving. Oh, always giving. Not just only money, not just only material. Your heart, your emotion, your love. Always giving. Always giving. My mission is giving. My purpose of life is giving. No matter what, even though I am poor, even though I don't have anything, but you still give. Only through the giving you can survive. Through the giving you can find purpose of your life. Through the giving we can create, you know, also we can cultivate our heart. Our heart. Oh! Always stimulate through the giving. Very important. I, this is my 46 years experience, how to cultivate my heart. How can my heart become better? Always stimulating, always exciting, always happy. Secret. Always giving. Always giving. That's why Father said, one who giving, never perish. Never ever perish. Why you are spiritually very poor? You do not give. Simple. Why fighting between husband and wife? Because you are not giving. You try to receive more than, more than giving. How to cultivate heart? Top secret. Always giving and giving and giving, and giving. Giving is your mission. Do not give, you will die. Spiritually, surely you will die. Do not give, and then your heart is always complain. Always complain. How to cultivate our heart? Through living for the sake of others. What is living for the sake of others? Simply say, giving, investing. Sacrificing. I am telling you the same principle again and again and again and again. Father said, in this way, the center of the everything is a heart. And the family is absolutely necessary for cultivating it. We cultivate the four realms of heart in the family. And they must connect and unite the centering on God. I really thank my physical father and mother. We, our family is very poor. But what I learned from my father and mother, they are like each other competition. Any people come to my, room, my house, even though they before believing through parents and, and God, they have a habit. Oh, really giving. 
Anyone come and then, even though we don't have any rice to cook for lunch, but ask them to sit down and then, please have a lunch together with us. But my mother went back to I'll go to the kitchen room, don't have anything. And then she go to the next next the neighbor house and then borrow the rice and cook and then serving for serving other people. Oh my God. My brothers and sisters, giving is our mission. Giving is our mission. Through giving, always cultivate, cult cultivate my heart. Always exciting. My life is so happy, even though I don't have anything, but through the giving, I gain all kind of energy and happiness and you know my life is so exciting everything is so grateful many people do not know this top secret giving do not talk to other people okay giving giving you can get power you can get energy <laughs> this connection and unity expands from the level of individual and family to community and nation and world Thus, restoration cannot be complete without heart. Wow, very important thing. Once again, thus, restoration cannot be completed without heart. So, the principle of restoration, the, the course of restoration is what? Finally, conclusion is what? To restore heart. That's why when we learn part two principle, foundation of faith, Foundation of substance finally enter foundation of heart. What's the final conclusion of the of the restoration cause? To restore my heart. The relationship between God and me restore heart. Parent and child relationship. Restore my heart between husband and wife. Restore my heart between Cain and Abel. That's why heart is everything. That's why Father say here, because without it, no one can establish the central position. Wow. Did you know that heart that much important? Do you know that heart is the core of the love? Father is really amazing man. Father is really amazing man discover this point. Read. What is the path of truth? It is the path which forsakes the longing heart for the human world and instead longs for and heads for God's world. Tell Tasha. You must like God's world more than you like people, more than you like your parents, more than you like your spouse and children. This is the path of truth. Then how much should you like it? It should even be to the extent that you feel there is nothing better than it. Wow. I, again, I really, I really love the father. I really, I admire my father every time whenever I study father's work. He's an amazing guy. He's really, really, how he discovered this kind of principle? Father said, was the path of the truth is the path which forsakes the longing heart for human world and instead longs for and has for God's world. My dear brother and sister, what the, I already told you that, what the core content of the heart, then what the, what the essence of the heart we are talking about, the heart is a, more deeper than love, right? Then what's the core of a heart? I told you. That is longing heart. Longing. How much do you love your children? Means how much do I have a longing heart for my children? Then you love God. You say, I love God. I love God. I love God. Then you check. How much do you have a longing heart for him? No longing heart, you say, I love God. That means you are hypocrite. You are hypocrite. Just your God's concept. 
I love my spouse, my wife so much. But you ask yourself, how much do you longing heart for your wife? But without longing heart, you say, I love my wife, that means you are hypocrite. Where there is a longing heart, there is a love. Where there is a love, there is a longing heart. Wow, amazing. That's why how much do you love God means whole day. How do you often think about God? Do you love true parents means how long, how much do you long for true parents? Yeah? That's why Father say, you must like God's world more than you like people, more than you like your parents, more than you like your spouse and children. This is the path of the truth. Then how much should, should you like it? It should even be to the extent that you feel there is nothing better than this. That's why. Do you know why Jesus is the Messiah? He mentioned this key point. He's a Jesus, amazing man, amazing guy. He point out this main point. So let's see here. Matthew chapter 2, verse 36 to 30, uh, 38. And some Jewish guy challenged and tested Jesus. Hey, teacher Jesus, what is the most important commandment in the, in the law? <clears throat> and then Jesus answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Why? What is the first word? With all your heart. H-E-A-R-T. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Wow. Wow. Jesus say that. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and mind. Did you watch the top priority? Was our top priority in our life of faith? Just now what Father, Father said. You need to love God more than anything else. You need to have a longing heart more than anything else. That's why first the top priority is what? Loving God. Loving Heavenly Parents. What is your second top priority is what? Loving true parents more than anything else. What is your third pr top priority? What? What is your third priority? What is your third priority? You are physical parents. Your physical parents is what? Your hometown, your eternal hometown. Do not say that! They are just only my uh, biological parents. Do not say it like that! This is really impolite. I came from my parents. My parents are sexual organ, my eternal hometown, my eternal love, my eternal life, my eternal privilege. I came from there. My physical parents, they are position of God, position of my, my true parents. Even the worst parents, you need to restore them. Let them become perfect. Let them become true father and true mother. Let them become God. That is your job to do. That's why first priority is what? Heavenly parents. Second, parent, second priority is what? True parents. Third, third priority is what? Your physical parents. Number four priority is what? Your spouse. Number fifth is what? Your children. Jesus said, this is the first and most important commandment. The second most important commandment is like this one. And it, and it is... Love others as much as you love yourself. Okay? What's the second commandment? Love your neighbor. Who's your, your neighbor? Father said, in front of the mind, body is your neighbor. The nearest neighbor is whom? Your 
spouse. Your spouse, your children, your Cain and your Abel, everybody, your neighbors, except God. Everybody, your neighbor. That's why when we have a clear alignment to God, I love God, this set up the standard, I love God most. I love God with my all soul, with my all heart, with all mind. Once you set up that kind of particular alignment, you can apply to your father and mother, your children, your spouse, your neighbor, your nature, everything. That's why vertical alignment, 90 degree, no shadow. This is the most important guidance. Set up vertical alignment. Set up vertical tradition. Align to God. Love God the most. If you love God most, then this principle centering on filial piety. I love God centering on filial piety. This kind of the heart is never changing. Same standard. You can apply to your husband, you can apply to your wife, you can apply to your friend, you can apply to your nation, become patriot, you can apply to the world, you can become saints and sages. Wow, Jesus, I think he really teaches right things. He knows that, what is the vertical alignment? Set up vertical alignment first. This is, you know, what is the central pillar. Pillar first, not beam is the first. Set up the pillar first, and then automatically you can set up the beam. Wow. Why democratic society problem is what? No vertical alignment. No respect God, no respect parent, no respect teacher, no respect father and mother. This is the problem. Everything is like a sibling, sibilingism. You are my brother, you are my sister. No political, no parent. This is the father said, this is the main problem of the democratic society. Centering on individual, centering on very horizontal relation. You and me same, you and me same. You are my brother and sister, you are my brother and sister. No vertical concept. This is the main problem of the, the democratic society. Therefore, we need to respect heavenly system, which is what? Vertical system. Love the Lord my God with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind. Most important part. Then finally, can set up my heart eternally. Next. The contents which the unification movement presents. What does the unification movement present? It activates one's heart. That is why I said that the unification movement offers the final opportunity. Actualizing the truth is not its purpose. Of course it actualizes tr the truth and causes character transformation through the truth. However, its main purpose is to activate one's heart. Wow. The First Adam and Eve, the, 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 the Adam and Eve is the first our ancestor. Who is our second ancestor? Jesus. Then Jesus, he died on the cross. So second coming need to come. All right? So father and mother came as the second coming. Toro mother is the first coming. Then Let's just say father and mother, both of them die. Then what happened after that? True parents, once true father, true mother married, holy wedding, no more coming, second coming or third coming, no more. True parents already accomplished. Even though true children, true grand-grand-grandchildren inherit, 
they cannot be true father and true mother. True father, true mother, they are eternal, our ancestor. The father said, and during Adam and Eve time, Adam and Eve the descendant, they made a mistake. They went to the spiritual world, but they have a chance to come back to the earth. Why? Jesus is coming. Then when Jesus came to the earth, and then they made a mistake, but they still have a chance because the second coming is coming. <laughs> then second coming, father and mother is a final coming. That's why, that's why if you fail with the second coming, where to go? Where to go? Okay, let's say, you fail with the Father's leadership. You struggle with the Father. Then you still have a chance to relationship with the true mother. But if you fail your relationship with the mother, do not respect, criticize your mother. Then where to go? Mother is the last one. That's why the Bible says that you can be forgiven. If you make the mistake either to the, in front of the Messiah, you can be forgiven. However, if you make mistake in front of the Holy Spirit, cannot forgiven. Cannot forgive forever. What does it mean? True mother, she's a begotten daughter. She's the last one, last one. That's why anyone fail with a true mother, no more opportunity. Because of mother is the last one. I am telling you, last one. That's why your life of the faith you have to be, be careful. If you fail, you make mistake. While father on the earth, then you still have a chance to, because of mother still alive on the earth. If you relate to the mother, can be forgiven. However, if you make mistake in front of mother, Bible said, if you oppose the Holy Spirit, no opportunity to be forgiven forever. Bible said forever. Wow. I go back again here. What does the unification movement present? It activates one's heart. That's why our unification movement final religion. If you lost your faith, and then you go outside. I, I got so much testimony. Once you believe in true penance, you know the taste of the heart, and then you left the church, you go to any Christian church, any Christian, any religion, you cannot get any satisfaction because Unification movement is a final religion. Why? Why final religion? Because we are talking about heart. We are talking about heart. Heart is the last one. Heart is the final one. That's why Father said, that's why I say that the unification movement offers the final opportunity. Wow. Actualizing the truth is not its purpose. Of course, each actualize the truth and cause character transformation through the truth. However, its main purpose is what? To activate one's heart. In conclusion, I am telling you, God will mention about the human's trial. Do you know when you join church and have a trial? Number first trial, material trial. Money, you need to choose money or need to choose, choose, choose unification church. Material trial. And then secondly, what? When you grow up and then since you join church two years, three years and become blessing candidate, what kind of trial you need to overcome? Temptation, woman temptation, man's temptation. You need to uh, overcome love temptation, right? Then what's the, the other trial? More serious than, okay, you overcome material test, you overcome love test, and then the more bigger one was that? Test by true children, Father said, true children. God tests you by true children. 
And then when you relate with the two children, and then someone so disappointed, he will lost the faith and run away, escape church. Father said, "You need you need to that content. I'm 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 telling you. Show I can show the next one in God's will. Tested by two children, many people lost the faith." And then, what the, the other test by true father? Oh, this guy is the Messiah or not? This guy is the Messiah or not? Sometimes when you accept father is the Messiah, but on the way, when you have trial, many persecution, another spiritual guru come and then tempt you, and then you doubt he's the Messiah or not. Okay, you overcome test by true father. Final test is what? By true mother. Oh, she's really begotten daughter? I thought so far what I understand, she's shadow the true father. Just follow father, operate, uh, cooperate father, serving father, as a woman, as a wife, that's it. And then when true mother proclaimed begotten daughter, wah, 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 what is she talking about? What is she talking about? What is she talking about? Many people lost the faith when she talking about the begotten daughter. Mother is a final one. Holy Spirit is a final one. If you overcome true mother's leadership, if you restore the relationship with the mother, become very close, hardest relationship, your test is over. No more, no more temptation, no more test at all. That's why I really proud of you. Uh, especially our American brothers, I really proud of you. You overcome all the trials, material trials, chapter two trials. Even you got all kind of trials by through children, but you are still keep your faith. I really admire our American brothers and sisters. For example, in Asia, you see that come the situation, many people already run away. I think no more, no more remain in in Asia. Why you are still remain and keep absolute faith? Because you raise up by through father through mother directly. Now father is gone. Now true mother is alone. She's a substance of the Holy Spirit. You see how much important mother's position. My brothers and sisters, I am telling you, we are living in very important era, golden era, with true mother. Now, final course, seven years of course left. Until now we are run and run, some, somebody very tired, exhausted. But you need to see, finish line, very clear, very near. You put your effort more, you can see finishing line. Finishing line. Please don't be tired. You put more effort. You need to finally go in. Go in. And you need to reach it to finish in line. Last seven years, of course, that's why for me, until now 45, 46 years of my life of faith, for what? For the next seven years, of course, that's why I want to put my maximum effort in Jong Song. I don't want to miss even one day. Because this kind of golden time never, ever come again. My brother's senses, I think you understand today content is very, very precious, very, very important content. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you, Dr. Young. So many secrets shared today. <laughs> I think we need a donation button on this Zoom call so that people can <laughs> offer their donation immediately so they're not indebted to you, Dr. Young. Mm -hmm. um, so let's go into our breakouts, five minutes for reflection.
And let's uh, those who are watching uh, take this time to yeah, reflect on any insights or takeaways from today. <laughs> A deep sharing I'm sure you all had. Um, I had some special partners in my breakout, uh, the Morgan couple as well as the Desena couple. And I'd like to invite up Ricardo Desena to share uh, his reflection from this morning. Uh, thank you very much. Good morning, Dr. Young. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Um, well, so much, so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. It's so hard to just say one or two takeaways. It's very profound, very deep. So grateful, Dr. Young. Um, but if I had to say one thing is the, the emphasis of the Chonzong, the, the beginning uh, our days with uh, absolute morning devotion and, and absolute connecting with, with God and our true parents and and the second point is, and, and you mentioned like prepaid, 
and it's our kids. We used to call them indemnity conditions. When we we begin like this, and then make the right conditions of heart, then we are God's instrument, true parents instrument. And we can bring victory every single day. And the second point is that you emphasize a longing heart. Today talk about the difference between heart and love, but that it's not just enough to love God with all your heart, soul and mind, but how how much we long and share with my wife how what is that longing heart, desperate heart of, of being connected with God and, and true parents and our mission. So uh, Thank you. Very grateful. Very, very grateful, Dr. Young. Thank you. Thank you, Ricardo. Thank you so much, your wife, Sena. Thank you. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, uh, Ricardo, for sharing. Thank you. And with that, I'd like to invite up. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know if you're able to, depending on sound, but Junko Osberg, <laughs> could you offer a closing prayer for us? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll do my best. Heavenly parents and true parents thank you so much for this opportunity to uh, let me offer the prayer I knew that <laughs> President Naoki was looking at me and I got that vibe and thank you and thank you and thank you so much for letting me understand your heart and I'm still far, far away from <laughs> your heart and but please let me understand let me feel your pain sorrowful heart and please let me close to you every single day yes every moment yes every second yes please share your tears so that i cannot i cannot feel body tiredness or anything just i want to i want to be out there and witness about you and then tell everybody your soul have a sorrowful heart please <laughs> guide me guide us <clears throat> and <laughs> sorry for my uh not enough condition, <laughs> but um, I pray this in the name of Junko Osberg, Bless Central Family, Aju. Aju, um, thank you, Junko Osberg. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Mm, beautiful. Um, beautiful daughter there with you as well. So uh, <laughs> thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today thank in our morning sure. devotion. And as always, thank have you. a blessed, victorious thank day. You. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Thank you. Bless everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye.